Alright guys, it's here. I'm going to set this up and then I'll be back. I can't really set it up and record with one hand. Alright guys, I have it set up. This is the little giant still air incubator. I will put a link below. It was on sale for $49. I have an extra thermometer in there that also reads humidity because I've heard that sometimes this one isn't completely accurate. We just plugged it in. It's going to run for about 24 hours before we put the eggs in. So I've had this run for about 6 hours now. All the thermometers are reading between 99 to 100 degrees. Now the humidity is a little off. This one, as you can see, it's 48%. My other one was reading 21%. So I am calibrating it with the salt and water in a baggie. So in six hours, we'll see what it reads. Humidity is really important, especially during lockdown, because the eggs can dry out and then the chicks won't be able to hatch. So we'll see what that says here in about six hours. I just got home from picking up the eggs. They're not in here yet because I just added the water. When I calibrated I found out that the inside one is 20% off. So it's actually 47% instead of 27 which means this one's only 2% off, which isn't that bad. Now the temperature is down because I just opened this and added some water. I want the humidity to be around 55, 50. So I'll let this go for about an hour and see what the humidity is. Now for the humidity, I don't have a turkey baster, but I own goats and everything, so I have these big syringes. I do this for when we have a down goat or something and I need to get liquid or any kind of oral medicine. This is easy. So I just fill a cup up with 100 degree water, syringed it and I put, let me look here, 60 in the first three channels and then I probably put 20 in the last three because that's all that I could fit in the cup so we'll see where that goes and if it's, in the, if it's in the right range then I'll add the eggs I'll show you those here in a minute all right are you ready to see what kind of eggs we have we have goose eggs These eggs are only four days old, so we should be okay. I'm going to let these rest for a couple of hours before I add them to the incubator, since we just did a hour drive. But I got 14 of them, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit all of them in the incubator, but we'll see what we can fit. What we don't fit, I'll probably just either see if anyone else wants to incubate them, or we may just eat them. Alright, so it's been a little bit since I've added the water, and both the monitors have evened themselves out with the humidity, both reading 53. Both have the same temperature, 99.5, and of course that's 99. I'm guessing since there was no water in the incubator, maybe that was messing up the humidity readings. So I've went ahead and weighed all these eggs. You want them to have about a 15% weight loss all together. Now I'm not sure I'm going to fit all 14 in there, so we'll see. But I'm going to give the incubator a couple more hours here to make sure it stays at 53. 
humidity. I don't want it to have any jumps. Humidity is really important during incubation, especially the first few days. Alright, I'll be back when I put the eggs in. So, I weighed them. Mark each side with an O and an X. Numbered them so I can keep track of the weight loss. And I was able to fit all 14 in here. So I'm not going to turn them until tomorrow night let them settle for 24 hours. And after that I will turn two to three times a day. Maybe four. Well, they all want to store in the oh, so. Oop, have that guy on their own side. Now some of these are real dirty. Oops. So we'll see what happens, but... You don't want to clean them off too much, so I'm not even going to mess with them. Alright, now I'm, I guess I will be back in a couple days when I candle these guys. Unless I have any updates in between them, which I don't see that happening. Thanks for watching, guys.